G'day guys, it's Jessie Holton here, Stamping Up's demonstrator for Australia, jessieholton.com and I'm coming to you with a quick tutorial, <laughs> quickish, on <clears throat> how to make a diamond fold card. So I'm going to be using the Lovely You bundle to decorate my card, uh, but first I'm going to run through all of the measurements with you. So, buckle up. <laughs> this one is beautiful but there is a little bit of work involved now if you're coming along to my September stamp camp I will have already done most of the prep work for you but here's the instructions in case you want to do it yourself now I wasn't able to find a tutorial with metric uh, centimeters so I have altered a tutorial that I found in inches and I followed one by Dawn Griffiths to to get um, and I, I changed it down made it a little bit smaller so that it would fit our standard Aussie A4 cardstock so here we go you want to start with a A4 sheet I'm using Melon Mambo and you want to cut it to 9.8 centimeters straight down the middle so I'm gonna cut the other one here you will get two cards in your kit if you're coming along to stamp camp so there are the two bases I'm just gonna make one up with you guys so that you can follow the instructions and uh, then you'll be able to repeat it yourself so get rid of that <clears throat> we're gonna do some scoring and excuse the frog in my throat at the tail end of a non COVID related cough that has taken a little while to shake so that was scoring at 4.9 9.8 9.7 so we're scoring every 4.9 centimeters, but when you get to the 14.567 centimeters, you just want to notch, notch the top, notch the bottom, just enough for you to see a little indentation because we're going to do some other scoring there later okay uh, 19.6 24.5 and we're snipping a little bit off the end 29.4 slice that little bit off okay so there is the main card now we want to turn it on an angle and we are doing the end score lines into the center so that's what we've got our notches for so we're going to do it on a diagonal we are going to score from here to here and then we are going to score from here to here we're going to turn it around do it from the top to the center and then from the center to the bottom so we're just using the score lines that are in the ends and these ones in the center are going to end up having a cross over them so we'll get the diamond shape in the center follow along with me <laughs> so find your notch and your top I really didn't make my notch very big at all. I'm just going to improve on it a little. So I can see what I'm doing. And if you find it easier <clears throat> to fold on the score lines first, you can do that. It makes it a little bit easier to see. Make sure that you're using your score tool. And not cutting 
Okay, so now I'm doing from the notch in the center down here. All right. And then we're going to turn it. We're going to score from this end one here down to the center. And then we're going to go from the center down to the bottom. So from the top one. And I've got my first cross. <clears throat> and then my second cross. So you can see now I have got two crosses in the center. I mean two crosses on either side and the diamond in the center. Okay, so now we can put that aside. You are going to want bits of cardstock to go on all your little pieces. So I have done two layers of cardstock. I've done whites. So these bits here, which you'll need two of them, are 4.5 by 9.4 centimeters. And then you will need nine by nine square okay and we are going to cut it in half and line up your points down the little trough of your trimmer and then we were going to turn it around and score it in half again now I like to use these lines to make sure that I'm doing it straight so I'm putting the, the point in the trough and lining it up with the line okay <clears throat> so now we have our two pieces for here and here Then we are going to cut this one in half. And then in half again. Excuse me, so now we are going to have there and there. And then we're going to do this one in half. Now we have top and bottom on that side. Okay, then we get to do the coloured bits. <laughs> I'm using the uh, Artistry Blooms designer series paper. So you need two pieces to go at the ends. These pieces are 4.1 by 9 centimetres. Then you will need a square, which is 8.6 by 8.6. And we are going to do the same thing to cut it to cover these little triangles.
Okay, and the last little bit that you'll need is the centre, which 6.8 square and 6.6 .6 square. So that will all line up nicely. So I'm going to head, go ahead and glue all of those bits in place, except for this. We'll stamp this before we put it on. Okay, so now all of my pieces are glued in place. One thing to be very careful of when you're gluing them is not to glue them over the score lines because you do need um, them to not get in the way of the folding. So the way you want to fold your cardstock is starting with your diamond, fold this bit back and then fold this bit back. Do the same on the other side, going back, going back. Now these bits need to come forwards and these bits you just need to poke them in so that they go behind the diamond and then poke these bits in so that they go behind the diamond and then give it a good squash. <laughs> Make sure that it's all uh, in place, okay? And then so that way it will fit in an envelope and you can mail it so it just pops out and you can see the bits of designer series paper and then it'll also sit by itself stand by itself on display Okay, so um, you do actually have two of these white squares in your kit. They're both the same size, so it doesn't matter which one you use. One is for the front and one is for the back, so you can write your message. Uh, so let's get stamping. This stamp set is lovely. Lovely you. I love the font. And I love these flowers. So we're going to do a wreath in our um, in our little diamond shape with these beautiful little leaves and flowers. So let's get crackalackin. Now the colours that I'm using are Melon Mambo, Mango Melody, Granny Apple Green, Bermuda Bay and Gorgeous Grape. And this square is gorgeous grape. I forgot to mention that before. Um, so I'm just using the coordinating colours from this paper. If you don't have those colours, um, just check out the paper and you can see the listing of the colours in the catalogue because there are a lot of colours that coordinate with this paper. Um, so Bermuda Bay, Co Calypso Coral, Coastal Cabana, Daffodil Delight, Garden Green, Gorgeous Grape, Granny Apple Green, Magenta Madness, Mango Melody, Melon Mambo, Night of Navy and Whisper White. So there is a ton of colours there that you can use um, and I'm sure that if you don't have the colour palette that I've got then you can find something that will work with what you have. The biggest ones and then move in and fill in the spaces with the smaller ones.
Okay, Melon Mambo. You don't have to use as many colours <laughs> as I have either. I'm getting a little bit crazy with all the colours. Granny Apple Green. Mango Melody. Okay. I think that has filled out pretty well. I don't think I could really put much more on there if I tried. <laughs> uh, so those are the colours just because I'm using a fair few. I'll just show you quickly so you can grab them if you need. Alright. And then we need to do a little sentiment across the front. So this, I'm going to use the new, well, newish, it's from the annual, um, little layering label punch. So that is really pretty. Okay, so the measurements for the labels are just here on page 22. Um, if you're using the picker punch, the lovely labels picker punch, it's got the widths here that you can cut the paper at. To make all of the little layers. Okay, so you will also have in your kit um, some white cardstock and Melon Mambo cardstock. It will already be punched for you, but if you're wanting to repeat the card, then this is what I've used. So Whisper White is three quarters of an inch by <laughs> eight centimeters, which is About three and an eighth, just over three and an eighth. Um, so we do have the inches on our Aussie trimmers as well as centimeters. Um, and I do find that for the punches, because they are made for American standards with the inches, it is easier to get an exact cut if you do use the inches for them. So three quarters of an inch is about 1.9 centimeters um, and then an inch is just over a smidge over two and a half centimeters but if you use the inch lines you'll get an exact cut fit for the um, punch so white I've done eight centimeters long by three and a quarter now if your edge is nice and straight and you've pushed it in nice and straight so that it's backed up against the edge nice and straight then your cut should be nice and straight but if you want to double check you can flip it over and just make sure that uh, when you eyeball it that the where it lines up to is symmetrical on the punch to get your punch done and I'm going to use the same side to do my melon mambo this piece is an inch wide by nine centimeters long. Okay. So now I've got my little sentiment cut. I'm going to use the cherished friend sentiment. going to glue that straight on and 
and I have stamped using Melon Mambo ink as well. Glue this on first, hey? Now because this is quite a small backing, I'm not going to stamp on it, but of course it's up to you if you would like to stamp on yours. And you might even find it easier to write on it before you glue it on because the dimensionals will be hard to write across. The other option is if you want to cut some extra squares of or rectangles of the Whisper White. Um, in the 4.5 by 9.4 you could glue them on the ends and you could write on the ends instead if you like. Anywho that is that. I hope that you have enjoyed this a little bit more long-winded tutorial <laughs> to convert the diamond fold card into Aussie centimeters metric measurements and I'm sure that whoever you give this beautiful card to will appreciate how much love and affection has gone into making it. I hope that you guys have a lovely day. I'll talk to you soon. This is Jessie Holton, your Stamping Up Demonstrator for Australia.